I recently opened up a giant mystery box of Blue Ocean, and three of the things in that box were these tins right here. These are Ninjago trading card game mystery tins, and they come with a combination of Ninjago trading cards and Ninjago minifigures. You can see based on these stickers on the outside, these two tins have a minifigure and five booster packs inside, and this one doesn't seem to have a minifigure, but it does have seven booster packs. So let's open them up and see who we get. If you guys want to watch my full unboxing of the mystery box, I'll put a card in the top right corner, but I think I'm going to start with the Cole tin, then do the Lloyd tin, and finish off the Kai tin. That way we'll start with the minifigure, and then do the one without a minifigure, and then finish off a minifigure. So let's tear this thing open. It's got like this plastic wrap around the outside. Very easy to remove. And the tin alone is actually a really fun collectible. Like this is really nice. I'll definitely be storing things in here going forward. Anyway, let's crack this open and see who's inside. And, ooh, okay, the minifigure we get is actually Hero Zane. So yeah, these minifigures are ones that came in previous Ninjago magazines. So this is one that I already have. But I'm a huge fan of Zane, so I'm very happy to get another one. And this one's actually pretty old. I think this is from, what, 2021? I think it was the first issue of 2021. They were sold to a Master of the Mountain then. So very cool to get that here. But now let's look at everything else in the tin. So it looks like there's two promotional gold cards for the training card game. We have Kai versus Whiplash. And then the other one, very important, we have Geo Whipper right here. Now you can see everything is in German because the training card game is in German, but this is a super cool one to get. Definitely one I wanted. But now removing the booster packs, you can see there's a total of five of them here. We have two with Lloyd on them. Then we have Zane, Cole, and Kai. And these all look to be Seabound themed booster packs. I guess that's what series seven is. So let's start opening them up. I'm not super familiar with the rarities of the cards, so if I ever get a super rare card and you guys notice it, please make sure to let me know in the comments. But we're starting off with a Platinum Legacy J. And I know at least in some of the other sets, the Platinum cards are pretty rare. I'm not sure if this is one of them, but definitely a very cool hollow effect on the card. I like that a lot. Then here we have Pixel. This one is Kalmar. I don't like how they really flip every single time. This, I don't know. This is a part of the game. I still need to learn how to play the game at some point. That could be a video in the future. And then this looks to be a card for Kai's Mini Submarine. Okay, so yeah, one Platinum card. I'm actually going to look this up real quick. Okay, not bad, actually. It looks like this one's worth $3. It's one of the rarer cards in the set. There is more valuable cards in this one, but still cool to get. Next, I guess I'll go for the Kai pack. We'll save the other Lloyd pack for last. They actually use paper packaging for these. It's not plastic like training cards are in the U.S. All right, let's see what we got in here. The packaging's a little stuck. All right, we got some coal card right here. Oh, I'm turned around. I never know what the front of these is. This is, ooh, ultra glutinous. <laughs> Wow, that's a really cool effect. I love those bubbles right there. That's a very funny one, but also super cool. Then we have King Trimar. Oh, we just have a normal glutinous card. That's just a minifigure render. Then we have a card of Nia as the water dragon, and that's it. That's the end of the cards. Right, because we had that coal right there, which is another one of these, which, yeah, I, I, I don't know what these do. We'll go for coal next. See who we get in this pack. So this one is Epic Battle Boost versus Coal, I assume. Pretty cool effect back there with, like, those lights. It's very subtle, but it actually looks really neat. And then we have Master Wu. We have Nia as the Water Dragon in the show, not the set. We have an action card of uh, Kalmar, I guess. And then another one of these. I guess there's one of these in every pack. And I think if you turn them around, this probably makes a picture if you combine them all. I'll actually start setting these to the side. I'm curious to see if we'll get all of them in all the different packs. But now let's do the other Lloyd pack. I'm saving Zane for last because he is my favorite ninja, so I want him to give me good luck. All right, let's see who we get here. Starting off, we have, ooh, a Lloyd card. We have Action Legacy Lloyd. That's got a very similar effect to the Cole card. Pretty cool. Then we have just a standard Corzane card. We have Mei from the Ninjago City Gardens. We have Kalmar on top of Ojira. And then we have an action card called Ninja Battery, and it's showing Jay, like, powering up the sub. This is not like one of those 180 cards in this pack, I guess. But now to our final pack of this 10, let's take a look at the Zane pack. Rip this thing open. And let's see who's on the front. We have Hydro Boost Lloyd. I am so sorry for the way I'm opening these packs. They do not open as smoothly as like a Pokemon card pack here. But we have Hydro Boost Lloyd. That's got a really cool effect too. I love that hollow to be like the water. Then we have Legacy Whiplash right here. We have Gripe, yes. That's that's my main goal is to collect all the different Whipper cards. So I guess I have Glutinous now. I have Gripe. I have the Golden Geo Whipper card for this tin. And then I also got a Mango Whipper card like a little while ago in another video. So I guess now all I need is the standard Hydro Whipper as well as Pyro Whipper. Though I don't think Pyro Whipper's in this set. Then we have a card of Maya right here. 
And then finally a card of King Trimar and Benthomar. So yeah, pretty cool collection for the first 10. I think the best one was definitely the very first card we got. What was it? Well, actually, Ultra Glutinous is very cool. But yeah, I think Platinum J was definitely the rarest. But now let's continue on to the next 10. We'll actually take a look at the Zane minifigure at the end of this video. But first, I do want to take a look at all the different cards. So now let's get this Lloyd tin opened up, and it looks like they're advertising a Glutinous card on the outside. Once again, though, very, very nice tin. And opening it up, looking inside... There we go, yup, a Glutinous card. And this one is, of course, a Golden Glutinous card that will go perfect with the Golden Geo Whipper card. Very happy to have both of those now. And then we have a total of seven packs in this one. Lloyd, Kai, Zane, Cole, Lloyd, Kai, Cole. Okay, yeah, so it looks like those are the only four covers. So let's just go in order here. And it looks like the rare card's always at the front, so maybe I'll try putting the rare card to the back so we get surprised at the end. Might be the best course of action. I know you do, like, a similar thing with Pokemon cards here. Oh, wait, but that is the, uh, this is the back. Sorry, it's one of the 180 cards. It's confusing me. So if I take this card, put it to the back, then the rare should be on the back now. We have Wild's team, J, Kai, and Lloyd. Then we have another Legacy Whiplash. We already got that guy. This is one of the bigger picture cards right here. I guess they can be randomly placed, huh? I'll put that off to the side. This is another bigger picture card, this time of Nia's Dragon. And then finally, the last card is another Scuba Lloyd. We actually already got that one. But yeah, like I said last time, very cool effect. Next, let's do this Kai pack right here. So we want to open it from the back, I believe. Yeah, that's not the rare card right there. So open it from the back like this. Then pull the rare to the front. And let's see, we have uh, something Ninja Team, Nia, Cole, and Jay. Nia looks a little bit scary in that graphic, but that's all right. We have a Legacy Ghost right here. This card is backwards. Okay. Um, I can't even tell you what that is. I do not speak enough German for that one. Feel free to illuminate me in the comments. It looks like pancakes and bacon, maybe? <laughs> I think that's a screenshot from the show, but I don't remember the exact context. Anyway, then we have another card right here that got, got kind of spoiled there. But this is the Hydro Bounty. And then finally, we have Ultra Underwater Coal. Once again, very cool bubble effect like that a lot. I hope that we get all the Scuba Ninja. That would be pretty neat. But now let's move on to the next pack. Okay, how do I avoid getting spoiled on the rare card? I'm going to take this one in the back. I'm going to flip it over just to hide it. I'm going to take this one from the front, put it at the back, turn it over. Okay. I'm going to turn this over. Or turn this over. Okay. Um, so we have Action Legacy J and Nia. We have Boss's Team Whiplash, Schlang, <laughs> Mesmo, and Geist. So I assume that's Ratla's name in German. That's actually pretty cool art. I like this a lot, except for Whiplash. He looks out of place because he's a render and the rest are like 2D illustrations. But Mesmo especially. I don't know if I've seen that art before. That's pretty cool. Then we have another card right here that I gotta flip over. And this is some sort of training action card. We have Unter de Loop. <laughs> Another action card, and then finally the rare card on the end, we have, yo, okay, okay, we got the Whipper Duo. <laughs> That's actually really cool, I love that effect right there, he's punching and this guy's got like the fire blast shooting out. This is a card I will cherish, I'm actually going to put this off to the side so I don't lose it. Next pack, let's get this opened up, and I think, I think I have a good way to get the rare cards to the back now. Okay, let's see, let's see what we got in here. So turn this one over. Move this from the front to the back. Okay. Flip this over. All right, here we go. We have Kalmar and Gripe. Cool to get another Gripe card. We have Hi, again, from the Ninjago City Gardens. We have a card that's upside down, and this is, okay, an action card of Glutinous. Very funny. Then we have Rack. <laughs> I assume that's just German for Rack, but I don't know. Something about Rack being called a Rack is very funny to me. And then finally, the rare card on the end, we have, ooh, Legendary Garmadon. Or Legacy Garmadon? I think that's Legendary. Gonna be honest, kinda lame art for Garmadon. He's a really cool character, not his best look. But you know what? I'm happy to eat a Garmadon. That's pretty cool. All right, pack number five for this tin. We got two more left after this one. So, turn this one over. This is the little rule sheet that only comes in some of the booster packs. Now let's move this front card to the back. Okay, now turn this over. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. We got Mora right here. I wasn't expecting Mora in the Seabound pack, but very cool to see. Then we have Kaito and Eileen, again from the Ninjago City Gardens. Then we have the backwards card, as we always do. So this one is... Oh, just this card again. We already got this one. 
I think we already got this one too. And then finally on the end, we have Hydro Boost Zane. Okay, so we have Cole, Zane, and Lloyd now, so we just need the other three. So let's see who's in this next one. Penultimate pack. Okay, put the front card to the back. So first we have Tito. <laughs> I think it's very funny that they made cards for all the Ninjago City Gardens minifigures. Like, I don't think anyone was craving for a Tito card, but <laughs> here he is. Then we have Kalmar. Then we have just a bigger picture of Cole. Put that off to the side. We got Maya holding the chicken. And then finally on the end, ooh, Legendary Samukai. That's pretty neat. Very similar effect to what we've already seen. But yeah, he looks great. And then finally, we have our last pack for this tin. Hopefully we get good luck in the very last pack. Okay, first we have Action Legacy Kyan Lloyd, May again. We have another one of the like uh, big picture cards. This I believe we've already gotten. And then finally our rare at the end, we have Versus Kai with an epic battle boost. That's actually a really cool design for that card. I love like the flaming sword that looks incredible. And I like the expression they gave him too. It's like the angry face, but with the smile, it fits him perfectly. I actually like this card a lot. So I'd say the Lloyd tune was pretty good to us. I don't think we got any cards as good as the Platinum J that we started off with, but still definitely a lot of very fun ones in there, especially this one. This is probably my favorite one I've pulled so far. But we do have one more tin left, the Kai tin, and this is gonna come with another minifigure in it too. Apparently also a legendary Garmadon card, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Here's a full look of the Kai tin with the wrapping removed, and now let's crack it open and see what minifigure we get. I wonder if it's just gonna be Scuba Zane again. No, okay, actually it is. <laughs> Okay, this is Burst Cole, which is a minifigure from the 2020 magazine, so it's very, very old. And the reason I laugh is because I think I got this as a bonus minifigure a couple years ago, too. So I think this is now my fourth or fifth copy of this minifigure. <laughs> Not gonna complain, because it is a fairly decent minifigure. I don't mind this one, but very funny to get. And then here is that legendary Garmadon card, and I have to say this is a lot cooler than the other Garmadon card that we got. But then, of course, we also have the five packs in here. So let's see who we got. Zane, Cole, Lloyd, Kai, Zane. Okay, two Zanes this time. So we'll start and end with the Zane, and hopefully he'll give us good luck. So first pack of the Kai tin. Crack it open. We flip this card over on the back. Remove that. Oh, okay, wait, it's different. It's different in this one. Okay, so... Oh, wait, so it... Uh, I'm so confused by how these are laid out. I think the rare is already on the end on this one for some reason. So we have Erstwant action card. Okay. <laughs> Zane's power at Mechievo. That's actually pretty perfect for me to get. Really like that one. Then we have a backwards card. Cool. And oh, okay. We got Hydro Whipper. We got the regular Hydro Whipper. Perfect. We got all the ones I wanted now. Anything else is just extra. Put him off to the side. Then don't look at the back card just yet, but we have Underwater Nia. Okay. This is not like the hollow version of her, but I guess technically now we do have Underwater Nia. And then finally on the end, we have another Platinum J. So I don't know if I just got really lucky or this isn't as rare as I thought it was. But once again, in the first pack, unless they're mapped and like you're guaranteed to get this as your rare in the first pack of these tins. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at the next pack and see if it's similar. Okay, this one I go like this for. Okay. Okay, so first, okay, this time we have Wild's team in Nia, Cole, and Zane. Then we have Crux. What's Crux doing in here? <laughs> All right. And then we have a backwards card of, oh, that's funny. It's a scene where Kalmar is driving the truck with Kai in there. And it actually looks like it's been illustrated over a little bit. This doesn't seem like a direct screenshot from the show. That's actually pretty cool. Then we have one of the big picture cards. And then finally on the end, we have, oh, okay. We did get this card before. I don't think it was in that spot, though maybe it was. Huh, very curious. Anyway, I'll put this off to the side, open up our next pack. Move the rare to the back right here. Starting off with Wild Nia, and then we have Wilder Zane. <laughs> I assume that's just their name for core. I don't know, German viewers, tell me what that translation is in the comments, and why is Nia only wild, but Zane's wilder? Then we have a backwards card, which is Gross Sartage's Sandwich. And then don't look at the back card, don't look at the back card. We have Woobot Mission. That's very funny, very exciting one to get. And then finally to end it off, we have the Hydro Boost team with Glutinous and Hydro Whipper. All right, that's pretty cool. That is a new one. So no, we just got unlucky that we got the same card twice. But no, that is all new. Very funny one to get. Very happy to have this one. And now I have two packs left for this video. So the penultimate pack, let's take a look at Kai. It's the Kai pack in the Kai box. Maybe it'll be something special, but probably not. 
here we have the non hollow version of Underwater Lloyd. Then we have Legacy Master Wu. Then this is a backwards card of Zane's Power Up Mech Evo, so second of that one. This is one of the big picture cards. Also, is that Nauticon in the background? What's he doing on the core poster? Now I want to get this entire thing and figure out what Nauticon's doing there. Then we have... Oh, okay, this is our rare. Is that Garmadon again? So not super exciting because we did get it before, but definitely not a bad card to see. And then here is the final pack of the video. I will be taking a look at the minifigures that I got after this, but these will be the last cards for this one. So let's hope that I get something rare. All right, take these cards out. These need to be able to slide out a little easier. It's a little bit tough. Come on. Eh, there we go. Turn this one over. Move the rare card to the back. Okay. First, we have Legacy Mesmo. Didn't have that one yet. I like getting all the snakes, so that's very fun. Then we have Legacy Whiplash. Okay, Legacy theme so far. Then this one is... We already saw this one. This is Der Krake. <laughs> I assume that's the Kraken. That's an action card. Then we have... I, I don't know what this one is, but another action card. And then our final rare card of the video is... Another legendary Samukai. So I did get quite a few repeats in this video. However, there was definitely some really good ones in there. And the repeats aren't bad cards by any means. I just would have preferred to have something different rather than have the same thing twice. In terms of the cards that combine to form a big picture, I didn't have a ton of luck with these. You can see these two are right next to each other. And then this goes in this corner right here. But yeah, you can see I'm still missing five parts in this one. I did get an extra of this one right here, but I can't do too much with two of the same thing. Then the core one, I only got these two parts, Cole and Zane, so I can't do too much with that. I got a second of the Cole one, too. But yeah, I definitely need quite a bit more there. And then finally, there's another one, which looks to be a Seabound poster, and I only got one of this one, again, of Cole. It looks like I got a lot of Cole here. Anyway, now let's take a quick look at my favorite cards that I pulled in this video. I really like this versus Cole. The versus Kai was pretty cool, too. Platinum J obviously looks amazing. I really love the effect on this card, and I like how J is, like, almost illustrated. It's not just, like, a render from the show of the minifigure. The golden glutinous is very cool to get. The normal glutinous is very cool to get with the hollow effect. Then we just have a standard Hydro Whipper who's awesome. The Hydro Whipper team's incredible. And then these two are probably my favorite of the entire video. Now quickly I'm going to get these two minifigures built up. I have already covered them in my magazine reviews on this channel, but I still want to show you them in this video. So first here's Burst Cole, and I really love the weapons that this guy came with. They're just these two giant drills, and they're so like over the top and exaggerated, but they're so much fun. But then the minifigure itself is pretty good too. I'm not a huge fan of how the hood and the legs are reused from other figures, but the shirtless elemental design is super cool, and I love the powered up face too. This dragon design on his back is incredible as well. And then opening up the next poly bag, here's Hero Zane, which admittedly is not one of my favorite Zane minifigures. I think especially with the mask, it seems a little bit off. However, this figure does not come with a mask, it comes with a hairpiece instead. So it's definitely a cool alternate option to have, especially if you already have the Master of the Mountain sets. But what I especially love here is, again, the accessories. The crossbow is super cool, and I like the shield build as well. So certainly not a bad one to have an extra of in my collection. But I think that's about everything for this video. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more Ninjago training hard game videos on this channel. If you missed it, go check out my full unboxing of the mystery box, the Blue Ocean sent me. These tins are only the surface of what was in there, so I have a lot more that I could make videos on, so make sure to go check that video out and let me know what you want to see videos on in the future. But as for this video, I think that's about all I have to say, so thanks for watching everybody. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!